Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be all about the Tardis Contour Palette Volume 3 by Tarte. I'm going to review this product as well as demo the product. So if you're interested in seeing what this palette is all about, then please stay tuned. Okay, so I first wanted to come on here to show that I just put on my foundation and did my brows real quick and now I'm going to highlight first because I can't contour without highlighting so I'll highlight first then I'll come back to show you the greatness that lies within this palette. <laughs> Alright so now that I have finished highlighting my face we will go ahead and move on to contouring and I will be using the Tardis, tar Tardis it's, it's TARDIS, okay? <laughs> the TARDIS Contour Palette by Tarte, of course. The packaging is beautiful, but I will get into all of the specs and everything um, after this demo. So I'll just get right into the demo. I will go ahead and use this darkest shade for the contour. And it's just a matte contour shade. And I'll go ahead and use my... Morphe Y9 brush from the Gilded Gilded Gold collection. I can't remember if that's the name of it. I'm not sure if it's still available because it was um, limited edition. So I'm not too sure if it's still there. But you can check it out and see if it's still there. These brushes are so cute. And I'll go on my jawline as well. And then my temples, ever so gently. <laughs> I'm just going to blend out this contour a little bit. So. I always do one side stronger than the other by accident. It's just what, I'm, what I do. So I'm trying to blend the heck out of this right now. <laughs> All right, and to further blend everything together, diffuse it out, and just make it a little bit warmer, I'm going to use the second darkest shade, um, and this is the bronzer shade. This is not a matte shade, by the way, but I will go over the top of my contour with that bronzer shade. And I always, I always forget to contour my nose, so I'm going to do that now. I don't know why, it's just a habit. Like, I, I'll do my whole face and then I'll go back to the nose because I always forget. Had a little bit too much on the brush there. <laughs> And I'll just go over that nose contour with the same bronzer again, so it's not too harsh. Alright, I'm just going to clean up the contour a little bit with some powder. Alright, and the cool thing about this palette is that it also includes a blush. Like, you really don't need anything else, I swear. So I'm going to use this blush that we have at the top here and it's just a nice natural color nothing too crazy but it can be quite pigmented as you can tell <laughs> I'm just gonna blend that out last but not least of course you have to highlight and I am going to use this highlight way at the top here and not getting a great uh well it's showing up a little bit on camera but it's like a rose gold highlight and I'm using my Morphe M501 brush love this brush for highlighting And 
and can't you tell that this is a great quality highlighter? I'm like barely dusting it on and it's showing up so well. Put a little bit too much on my forehead, oh my gosh! Ugh. I'm looking like a freaking disco ball now. <laughs> That highlight is crazy, but I love it. All right, so I'm just going to, you know, finish the rest of my face, come back, and give you guys a full review on how I feel about the TARDIS Contour Palette Volume 3. <laughs> all right, so I'm all done with my face. I just did a little bit of eyeshadow, nothing too major, and added some lashes. And these are actually the Nisha Lashes by Coco Lashes. I just bought uh, three pairs of Coco Lashes and I'm trying them out for the first time. But anyway, moving on to the Tardis Contour Palette by Tarte. This is the Volume 3 version. Their first version was a general contour palette. Had the same sort of layout except I think there was only one matte bronzer. I mean, one matte contour one bronzer shade and then I forget what the rest is. I think there's like a highlighter shade like for like under the eye and then there is an actual like highlighter for the um, high points of the cheekbones and um, then there's a second version by Makeup Shayla which I was thinking about getting but I wasn't too sure because I wasn't sure if the contour shade in that palette would be dark enough for me but when I saw this come out and it came out not too long ago maybe a few weeks ago around Christmas time I was like all right that contour shade is definitely dark enough for me like I have to get it and I just love Tarte Cosmetics I love mo like a whole bunch of their products so I figured this could not you know really fail me especially when I saw it in the store and I was actually able to swatch the shades from the palette in the store, I was like, all right, like, I'm done. That's like, <laughs> I'm definitely buying it. When you open up the palette, you have a blush, you have a highlight. They call this the glow, which is the same thing as a highlight, whatever. And then you have your matte contour shade, and then you have your two bronzer shades, and you can go either or, however you're feeling that day. This is their uh darkest contour palette um so i was very intrigued it actually smells like chocolate not sure why but it does <laughs> and um the packaging is beautiful i would say the formulas for these shades are they're tart like all tart formulas are pretty much that creamy rich even with the powders that like it kind of just feels like butter when you put it on and it just has that great formula that Tarte usually has in all of its products. This palette is very purposeful. I feel like I can, if I'm traveling, I can just bring this for my whole face besides my foundation and I am all set. You have your blush, you have your contour, um, except your highlight. Um, I highlight with uh, concealer so Besides that, you know, um, you have your contour, you have your bronzer, you have your highlight, two to choose from, by the way. So, I mean, you're pretty much all set. So I don't need to bring a whole bunch of separate individual products because I have it all in one right here in this one palette. It's obviously sturdy. I mean, unless you drop it hard, I don't think anything's really going to happen with this. The only thing is that the powders here do kind of kick up a little bit, so you will get splatter and things like that. And I usually just blow it off, like it's not a big deal to me, I just blow it off so that it kind of stays sort of clean. 
I believe it's only limited edition though, so I don't know how long they're actually going to keep this palette, which the only one that's not limited edition is the first one. The Makeup Shayla palette is limit, limited edition, which I understand because it's a... Uh, uh, I don't understand why this one is limited edition when this one is so brown girl friendly. So I hope they actually end up keeping this because I could see my myself buying this again once this kind of uh, runs low. So I really hope that they actually keep this. And um, yeah, I just have another little palette added to my collection. It's so aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> I love the, the pink metallic cover and it's sort of like a leathery feel. And then of course the gold backing. And um, it also shows you exactly what everything is. Oh, you can't even see because of the reflection. But it shows you um, what each powder is on the back so if you and it shows you on the palette itself too so it's very user friendly too if you're just starting to get into makeup um, this is a good palette to practice with as well um, this palette retails for I think it retails for $45 it's in the $40 range so it is a little pricey but you get a lot of product in here and a lot of use out of it I believe like I think so so um yeah I think I I definitely recommend this palette if you're in the market for a contour palette and um you actually want a contour palette that has a little bit more to it than just contour shades and highlight shades so um yeah I would definitely buy this product I thank you guys so much for watching this demo slash review if you have any questions don't forget to comment down below and definitely thumbs up this video if you liked it uh of course don't forget to subscribe because i am busting out these videos for you guys and i hope that you guys are enjoying them but um yeah if you don't want to miss a video you have to subscribe and you have to click that little bell reminder so that you don't miss the video. You get a little reminder when I upload. So make sure you click that too. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.